Over the next few days, we'll be going around different islands around Linapakan. It's a relatively unvisited group of islands situated between El Nido and Caron. We will be spending the next two nights and three days on an expedition with a company called Kiluma. So we actually got picked up in El Nido by a jeepney. Which I think is so cool because I think for a lot of tourists doing this tour, they might not get the opportunity to go in a jeepney. So I think it's so cool that we got picked up in a jeepney. It's the biggest jeepney I've ever it seen is. as well. It's the biggest one. The inside is so, so cool. spacious. It took us about 45 minutes to get here at the port and now we are just waiting for our boat. I'm so excited. Yeah. Apparently the Linnanpakan Islands have the best snorkeling spots. Oh, does it? Yeah. Oh, I didn't so, know that. Let's go, let's go! Tarana! Okay, so we made it to our first stop today, which is actually at Darakotan Island where we were the other day. So we are just coming here to snorkel at the shipwreck, which is good because it was quite murky when we looked the mm. other day. So hopefully it's clearer Fingers today. Cross, guys. And um, yes, yeah, so we're gonna go in and snorkel now and see that shipwreck again. I'm pretty excited because it's actually a really good yeah, shipwreck. It's such a good... Loads and of amazing fish. corals as well. Yeah, so Darana, let's go. So that was so much clearer than the other day when we did it. So much it. better, isn't it? So I'm so glad that we got to do that again. Um, there were so many starfish. I didn't see them at all the other day. Really, it was very really, murky yeah, yesterday. Like... Really nice coral, loads of fish, and the ship itself, it just looks amazing, right? It's actually a Japanese warship, by the way, guys. We found that out just today. Um, so that would have been from, is it World War II or World War I? They were World War II? Two? I think sure. so. so yeah that's insane and like it's even still got the ropes on it at the on the boat that must have been there when they were actually using the boat which i just think is insane that the ropes are still there after this many years yeah it crazy does it, does it corrode? i don't know like did you see it the yeah, yeah. rope at the it's front of the boat mad but the sun is coming out the sun was out earlier it suddenly got really cloudy but the sun is coming out again and the water it's just really really blue here like buzzing blue we're gonna go to the next island in a minute now. I'm not, I can't remember what it's called, so I'll get back to you on that. I think it will take one hour to get there. And we're on a really big boat, so look. We've even got an upstairs, which is amazing. And then we've got lots of staff and lots of guides as well. Perfect trip. So there's a little kitchen right at the back of the boat. I don't even know how they make all this food behind the boat. But let's check Gordon Ramsay. We are coming to John. Ooh, sit up. Wow. What's the design today? Oh, it just smells amazing, guys. And they literally cook it right behind this boat. Right at the back. Okay, so we have arrived at our first island. It's a cute little island actually. And we're gonna stay for about two two about two hours. Because yeah. we're gonna have some lunch here. There's also a snorkeling spot down there. Um Koya? I know I'm Pangalan. Island. Duckling Island. Duckling Island. And apparently it's called Duckling Island because of uh, there's a special bird in there with long tight long thin legs and it's called duckling and it's called duckling yeah but it's called different in um in manila apparently mm. but the water here is like really blue yeah it's so blue it's insane. Oh. but anyway we can have some lunch here and then we're probably gonna head over to the island afterwards yeah and then this one is uh tuna black and tuna chicken curry out chicken uh, chicken vegetables uh vegetables curry and then she uh steam Big plan. Uh, All right, guys, we literally just had lunch. It tasted amazing. Honestly, oh. master up. I don't know how they make such amazing food on the back of a boat. I think boat that's meal. like one of my best um, meals. boat meals. I agree. It was amazing. So nice. Like the tuna was, oh, and the vegetables were nice and, and the, the curry. and the curry as well so good. so good but we're on this island now 
is absolutely beautiful. The sand is actually white. It's really soft, but there's a lot of coral on this beach. Yeah. So obviously that's not soft, but it's really nice. And the water... Blue. And then that. So blue. Super clear too. Oh, but anyway, this place is alive. There's like a, a little forest on the other side. I don't think you can go in there. So I'd say this is basically a sandbar, I'd say. So we're in the water, it's super clear, it's super blue, but it is a little bit rough because at this time of year, they said they have quite a lot of winds. Uh, Monsoon? Not, no, it's just winds, Amnihan winds or something, they yeah. said. So uh, it's a little bit rough, but it's so clear. Right now, just us. Yeah, we're the only ones here. finished snorkeling and uh, I think we're now leaving to go to the base camp so I think they said it's not that far they said it's just behind the mountain there so yeah let's go so we have arrived at our third and final location which is where we are going to be sleeping tonight because this is the base camp for Kiluma mm. so this place is called Kalimbangbangan it's basically a home of like basically just natives full-on so locals cool. So before this was mo modernized, there used to be no houses here, no like huts. It used to be just a jungle and it's people crazy. literally just sleep there. All right, it's time for a room tour. What are you doing, Zoe? Have you not seen them people that do like dances before their room tour? No, I think that's just... It's time for a room tour. <laughs> so let me show you. I think that all together there is eight rooms. So these are different rooms. It's all double beds. Um, our one is number one. We are number one. <laughs> anyway, look at this. Ah, it's it's good. It's like you've got your fan here and the wall, mosquito nets and a bed. And then around this one, there's a balcony. And you've got the beach front, and then the volleyball court is literally right here. And there's also a dining area on this side. So. That. It's quite big. It's quite a big, nice island. <laughs> yeah. Toilets are here. There are actually two toilets, just on this side, and then the bathroom is here. So it is a tabot. There's no shower on this island. No, no, no. I prefer a tabot than a shower. You unless... need to do it now. Look at your shorts. Yeah, so I think we're just going to chill here, watch the sunset, and then have dinner. And then it'll be good night. Mariana, which is I think Camote and then banana queue which is just the perfect island snack so I'm super excited to eat it <laughs> oh it's good mm -hmm. that's the best Camote I've ever had mm. so it's coated in caramelized sugar it's just delicious mm. now it's time for banana queue Oh my god, mm. so good. I knew I could smell banana on the boat. Mm. 10 out of 10 for the banana queue and the komote. Shout out to Kuya, Chef Gordon Ramsay. He's doing a great job, wow. Mm. Filipinos are such good cooks. Mm. But this island is such a vibe, it's so peaceful and I mean, there are locals here because I can see some houses, but I haven't seen any of them yet. But you think they're tribe, like yeah. native, which mm. is so cool. And it's uh, good that they let us come, you know. Yeah. And it's very remote. There's literally no signal here. Yeah, there's like one spot of signal maybe over there. But and I think what's really nice about this place as well is that you've got a beach there. You walk through and then like another beach. another beach, literally 100 meters. You've got two beaches and then surrounded by coconut trees as well. And then Zara's just been playing volleyball. Okay, Did you okay, have okay. fun? 
it was fun yeah like, it was my first proper time i think it was really nice too. that like the guides just got involved as well like the boatmen just started playing volleyball and yeah. getting everyone involved <clears throat> i think it's really nice when the boatmen like join in that just shows how nice the staff are Alright, so the sunset was amazing actually. It was a quite yeah, nice sunset. It was really it was, subtle, but yeah, it was nice. It's right behind the all the cliffs and everything. But now it's time for food once again. My favourite time of the day. Especially with the chef we've got, I mean I'm excited. Did you see the food? No. It's it's actually, it looks, it looks amazing. amazing. What have we got? So we've got like fish, we've got some vegetables, we've got pancit, we've got watermelons, mm. we've got some meat. And we have the cucumber salad, we have the native uh, chicken adobo with potato and uh, banana, the banana that you ate for the snack. And then also we have uh, uh, fried uh, pork, watermelon, and Filipino power. <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> Good morning guys. Oh, we had a really nice That's sunrise nice this morning. Yeah, and um, the sleep was quite good as well. Actually, I slept amazing. It? The could bed have, was comfy. Could have slept a bit longer. <laughs> but um, we needed to wake up at 6 o'clock mm. so that we can leave at half 6 and then have breakfast on the boat. On the boat. So last night we just played Uno with everybody and then we went to bed around 10 o'clock. So today we're going to make our way to Linen Pack and Islands. So I'm super excited for that. So watch out for the next video. So make sure to turn your notification bell on. But we're going to end the video here. So make sure to like, share, subscribe, leave a comment down below and smash that notification bell. And we'll see you in the next one. Peace. Bye.